Uh, it's okay, you want to leave us off? Yeah, Trey, uh, Shaq was basically talking about how he worked out with you this offseason, about how focused you were, about, you know, just how hungry you were following the divisional round, and obviously, um, you know, having to compete for your job. So I just am just curious, how has this summer been for you, man? Where's your head at right now? And, uh, you know, what's your mindset going into the season? Um, yeah, basically what you said. It's just I'm hungry, hungry, more hungry as ever. Um, I worked out with Shaq all off season, and we talked a lot, you know, personal level and football level. So I, I'm just ready to get the year started. You know, I'm, like you said, I'm competing for everything, and the whole organization is all about competing. So I'm just glad I got the opportunity. How do you balance building a relationship with? You know, Quentin Dunbar and maybe helping him out and getting up to speed, kind of giving that he's you know the new guy to the group, but also knowing that you guys are competing for the same job. Um, I mean, we're here to win Super Bowls, so anything I can take from him, I'm gonna take from him. And any question he has for me, I answer it truthfully. So we're teammates at the end of the day, and competition doesn't mean we hate each other. It just means, I mean, we're just trying to do what makes this team better. Yeah, uh, hey, Trey. How you doing? You started alluding to it there. This program is about competition and all that. But what were your thoughts when they traded for Quentin Dunbar and then basically said, you know, he's gonna he's gonna compete for the spot that you had? Um, I mean, I, I try not to think about questions that really don't. Um, I try not to think about things I can't control. So when I saw it, uh, you know, what I'm saying I was I felt some type of way and. All I can do is compete and try to win the spot. That's all I can do. I try not to dwell on it or get sad, get mad. Not too high, never too low. And when you, when you look back on last season, like, how do you assess it as a whole? I mean, obviously, maybe there's some emphasis on how it ended or whatever. But when you look at the whole year from, from start to finish, how did you feel like it uh, Second year at a new position, I think I did pretty good. You know, a lot of people can focus on my bad. And... Um, Last year, probably asking me that question, I probably would focus on my bad too. But not growing as a football player, growing as a man, I know what I need to focus on, and I know what I need to get better at. Did you have any thoughts on the Jets being the Super Bowl champs? Is that something that you guys can talk about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, and then also, what was your focus this offseason on what you needed to Um, I say the, what I focused on this offseason. Really, what I focused on this offseason was just uh, I went back and watched all the plays, of course. And the the plays I hate the most aren't the ones where, like, bang, bang plays are the, the ones where I second guess myself. I did that a lot last year. I knew a play, and I could have went for it, but I played it safe, so... That's one thing I focused on this year, just let, cutting it loose and really when I when I know I'll go. And I don't really remember your first part. Oh, the Green Bay game. Yeah, I, I, I don't even really remember. I just, uh, like I said, I just go at it every day. It made me really attack every day this offseason. Knowing that that was my last game going off my second year, it, it bothered me, but it fueled me too. So I'm all good. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. Tim Booth. Hey, Trey. Um, I'm curious what you've seen out of out of Marquise making the move from, from safety to playing nickel corner. And as someone who made a similar move from, from safety to cornerback, what are some of the challenges he's going to face in being able to make that successfully? Uh, definitely covering in space. You know, um, when, you go, when you play safety a lot, I, I like to talk to people. When you play safety, you get to use both of your eyes a lot. You get the dissect stuff. You get the field stuff coming at you. You get to see the whole play. When you're a little closer to somebody, you know you're focused on that ball, focused on him, and then the ball is coming at a little different angle. That's something that he. But he's a football player, really. So I I know whatever comes at him, he's gonna hit it hit it rolling, and I'll tell him anything he needs to work on. Right now, he's doing a great job. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, Trey. Just wanted to get your thoughts on what you've seen from Jamal Adams, what he brings to his defense, what what he can do for you guys. Uh, energy, for sure. You know, he's always he's always running, he's always hopping, hopping around. He's always everywhere the ball is at. I know he's gonna take me to the ball. If I don't know where it's at, I know he's <laughs> I know he's headed that way for sure. Bruce. 
Brady. Hey, Trey. Uh, wondering how much, uh, if anything, you draw from the season that Shaquille had last year after his rough season in 2018. Um. Well, so, like, what exactly are you – what was the questioning? I'm sorry. So, Shaquille Griffin had a rough season in 2018, and he has said before that, you know, that's an example that, you know, you can bounce back the next season. I'm just wondering if you've thought about that, if you've talked to him about that. Uh, that yeah, I always try to ask, like, people I really like. I always ask them, like, their opinion, not, not, my, like, not from a friend, just from an outside viewer. So – I asked them, how would you compare second years, my year to mine to yours? And the conversation happened, and, you know, I take a lot from it. I seen him battle every week with what the media was saying about him and what my perception of him was, and he got better every day, I felt like, and it, it piggybacked into year three. So I'm, I'm going to do the same thing. Curtis? Hey, Trey, just kind of curious what you feel like the potential of the group is now, having added Jamal, bringing Quentin into the mix, along with what you guys already have, Bruce Irvin, Benson Mayo on front. Just kind of, is there kind of an excitement about what your unit can be this year? Oh, definitely. You know, this defense is – the Seahawks are known for a high defense, so we have a standard here, and I know they're going to do their thing to uphold it, and we're going to get the ball and hopefully get in the end zone a little bit more. AJ. Hey, Tracy, you talked about um, one of the things you wanted to do this offseason was just trust yourself, it sounds like, a little bit more. Trust your first instinct, cut loose and go. How do you work on something like that? It's such an intangible. How do you work on something like that, and how confident do you feel in your first instinct? It's just less than two weeks later. It's actually, it's, a, it's actually a great question. It's actually all mental, um, and it can't be turned on and off. It's I. I like to think of things as how I act on like how I act on a football field is a little different than how I act on life. But I'm trying to just go with the punches, other than trying to overthink things. Trying to think about what the refs gonna call or what route he may run if he doesn't run that. You know, I just I, I trust myself to know that I watch enough film to go with it. You know, I mean, they trusted me for two years as a rookie. They trusted me to play. And as a second-year guy, they trusted me to play. So it's time for me to believe in me like other people believe in me, for sure. And you feel like you believe in yourself? Like, where is your confidence level after working on that? Actually, uh, this, is, this is the highest I've, my confidence has ever been in my life. <laughs> I'm pretty sure of it. I feel good. Uh, I go to practice every day. I go get better. I compete. And, yeah, I feel great. <laughs> I feel great. I come here with a smile every day. Michael Sean. Hey, Trey, what, uh, when was the last time or, uh, you got a chance to speak with Bryce Wisdom? And, and what, what did he mean to you? Um, uh, yeah, that threw me off. <laughs> I talked to – I still got his message in my phone. I don't know the date. You know, I, I was talking to him when he went to the hospital, with, you know, before the cause of his death. I, I talked to him a little bit before he passed. And he, he meant – uh, he meant the world to me, really. You know, I, I met him late, but I, w I would always see him at games when I was younger, him and his younger brother. Um, I would just always see him with a smile on his face. And it was everything going through life. It was crazy. I, I couldn't imagine what he was going through, but he always had a smile, and he always was happy. And he really changed my life. He, he's he's the year three y'all see is definitely because of him. You know, I can't overthink things. Seeing a kid go through that, and yeah, he's my angel forever, for real. <clears throat> uh, one question: uh, is, is going against someone like DK every day bring out the best in you? Definitely, him and Locke and Philip Dorsett. But yeah, DK's. I mean, I'm not gonna get too many other guys like him other than Julio. So <laughs> it's definitely a great lead up to Week One. Time for one more, uh, Greg Bell. Trey, how much nickel did you play at Oklahoma State? How much nickel? Is that what you said? Um, I w the way the defense was set up, quite a lot actually. You know, I would I would be in the slot 
on I'd be manned up on slots a lot, but they wouldn't call it a nickel at Oklahoma State. They would say I was playing safety, but nah, I played nickel a little bit in my day. <laughs> They call, they call it the Big 12. Man, they say it's seven on seven, but we got a couple running backs coming out for sure. <laughs> Is there any translation into the nickel scheme that the Seahawks run to what Oklahoma State and Big 12 run? Um, not at all. <laughs> Just to be direct, not at all. Um, the nickel is somebody here that he's at the point of contact a lot. You know, he has to do a lot. He has a run fit. He's in the pass. You got to put ballers at the nickel position, and I think we got we got enough of them at at the position now. Thank you. All right, Trey. Thanks so much. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it.